Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Ray, back with another video. I'm gonna show you today how I decide to buy a product. So my past videos, I said that you're restricted on a lot of products, but today I realized that you can still get around those restrictions and still get good products. So for products, not including books, books is a completely separate topic. I use an app called Scott IQ. Well, it's called Scottify. What did I say? Scott IQ? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scott IQ is actually for books. Scottify is what I use for products that aren't books. So all you gotta do is hit the scan button, and then you just gotta find the barcode on the actual box. So this product might not make it out because it is damaged, as you guys can see right here. It's kind of like lifting up. It's has, it gotta be brand new pretty much. You can sell it on Amazon. And you can see the corners here aren't looking too good, so I probably won't send that out. As you guys can see here on the right, it says it's selling for $43.99 on FBA. And it's a top 2% in this category, which is really good. I only go as low as 10%. And then we can put the cost here of what it cost me, which I'm going to get a receipt. I don't know exactly where I put that. So this is everything I bought at Target. And this in particular is called the Table Light Up. Let's see. It's in electronics. It's going to be maybe in electronics. No, it's a video game, video game. All right. So I'm going to show you guys this as an example because it's the only thing I can find on the receipt. It's kind of hard to like read things off the receipt. But if I go ahead and scan this on the back, it's gonna pop up on there and it's gonna say the price on FBA new, right? The lowest price is $58.50, which is the list price. And then I can profit a $35.25 if I sell it. Well, if I don't pay another dime for it. But since we obviously do pay money on this, we paid, where did it go now? I just completely lost this. It's gonna be on home. Oh, Vampirina, $16.84. And the good thing about this app is that you can set it up to where it can include your tax of what you pay for it. So I'll show you guys that right now. You go to the bottom right, and then you go down to desired ROI, which don't worry about that actually. We go down to default sales tax. It's 7.5 here in Tallahassee. And the shipping rate, I live pretty high at 50 cents per pound, just to be on the higher end. So I know I'll probably make more profit, maybe not, who knows, but I just like to keep it on the safe side. So if we go back, so then you can see I only paid 16.84 but then it includes this tax, whatever it calculates it. And then the net is 1715, which is how much I am profiting on this. And then the return on investment is 86%, which is pretty damn good for a freaking blanket. And or is it a blanket or is it a like, it's mattress? A, it's a comforter. It's a comforter, whatever it is, she knows. And if you guys look at the app, I bought it because it is top 1%, which means that it's likely to sell. Top 1% is like out of the whole category, which is really good. And that's pretty much covers it all. And you guys can see in profitability, it shows, shows you expenses and then how you can make if it's fulfilled by merchant or fulfilled by Amazon. But fulfilled by Amazon is way better in my opinion because it just has its benefits, which I'll make a whole other video on that as well. There's so many videos I can make on this, but I just want to keep it as simple as possible on this one. Show you guys what I use for products and how I decide. And by the way, I didn't show you guys this while I was at Target because it was kind of hard to record myself and I'll just focus on getting the products. And I know I was going to do this later on. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see me do this in the store or you guys want to see me do this when I get home. Either way, it's the same thing. It's just not real time. So this product, we're going to go ahead and scan it on the Scout IQ app. Scout IQ, it's Scoutify app. I'm sorry, I keep getting mixed up. So we go ahead and scan it. The list price is going to be $11.97 and then the cost we paid $4.48 for these socks which is going to include the tax like I said before and we profit 2.67% which still gives us an ROI of 53.31%. That return on investment is pretty good even though you're not making too much it's still a great return on investment. Like anything, I only, I only go for ROIs above 25 if it's below that it's kind of low for me and I just don't like to risk it because in case it doesn't sell it stays in there you're going to lose all that money and possibly spend more money than you're supposed to and yeah that's pretty much it for this one so if you, i'm gonna show you guys one more example so you guys feel a little confident all right now the last thing that i'm going to show you guys is this ps4 game most people would think that you'd be restricted on this which the app is going to tell you that you're restricted so we're going to go ahead and scan it and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about so i went and go ahead and scanned it i'm going to go in the best category it sells for $42 with the buy box. So if we go to entertainment electronics, we go to the video game. I really don't know which video game this is. It's a PS4 one, so. We'll go ahead and say it's a 1989, which is the highest video PS4 video game that we have. So it's 1989. So as you can see, even after buying the game, I still profit $10, which is 46.93% ROI. So there's no restriction on this one. Which one had a restriction? All right, my bad, guys. I actually want to show you guys one that had a restriction on it, but you can still buy. So this is the product I want to show you guys. This is FIFA 19. 
Go ahead and scan it, and it's selling for $69.99, which is fairly high. Net $55.18, I bought it for $19.56. Well, plus tax, of course, save changes. I still profit $34.15, 161% ROI. That's ridiculous, guys. And I don't know why it's not saying restricted anymore. Sometimes it will say restricted. Like when I first got onto this, it said it was restricted, but I can sell everything but new. All right, guys, so as I'm editing the video, I realized that I didn't put in the part that I wanted to tell you guys. So in that part of the video that you just saw, I was restricted to sell the item as new. So you're not allowed to sell it as new. Like if you go to try, to sell it on Amazon, it will tell you you're not allowed to sell it as new. So what you have to do is, instead of selling it as new, you can sell it like new. It's gonna be, it's gonna say use like new. However, in the description or in the condition box, you can't say that it is new because if you say that, Amazon will flag you or something as far as I've been reading. So what I'd recommend you guys to do if you guys wanna sell these games, you can sell them like new for the same exact price and then in the condition you have to twist your words around without saying that it is new. You can't say that it is brand new because you will get flagged. But if you really want to sell the product, like this PS4 game is going to sell, even if it's used like new, when you ship it and it's sealed, they're going to see that it's new, obviously. This can actually help you because when they rate the product, they're going to probably say that this came in better condition than it was. It was actually new and it even said used like new, which can be good for your seller account. However, there's a downside to this and that is that it might take a little longer to sell your game because there are other games at the same price that are new. So what you can do is actually sell it for maybe like a dollar less or a penny less and people are willing to buy it for literally a penny less. Like I know me as an Amazon shopper, if I see something for a penny less, I'm gonna get the one that's a penny cheaper and I get the same exact thing, prime, use, whatever it is, I'm gonna pay a penny less just to get that. So that's just a little quick tip for you guys that I wanted to say in the video, but like I was so fried after shopping all day and then making these videos, it was, it was a lot, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So that's a quick tip for you guys, I hope you guys implement it. Whenever it tells you that you're not able to sell some things like there's a restriction on it make sure you request approval because it's possible that you can get accepted to sell in that category or that product right away sometimes you might have to send an invoice but usually I, from what i've heard is that you can just get your seller account up and then eventually you'll get the privilege which is what i'm going for and on top of that i have the pro merchant account which lets me sell some of these things i don't know if like you don't have it you won't be able to sell some of these things but i have the merchant account so i would just go ahead and get it because i have over 40 products i have 29 books and then a bunch of these products it's definitely going to reach over 40 products, which is gonna be over the pro merchant price, which is $39.99. And if you sell individually, you gotta pay a dollar for every single product, so. Anyways, guys, that's it for the products. I'm gonna make a video on the, on the books now, which is a little different, so you guys can understand exactly what to buy. Like I always say, smash the thumbs up button. Also, leave any questions down below that you guys have, and suggestions as well. And make sure you guys keep grinding. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.